All right, so I'm gonna go over this fuel system in its entirety from beginning to end. Um, and I had some questions on how I, you know, what I chose to go with. So, and I see some other people going with similar stuff, but if you didn't know the difference, you'd think it was the same thing. So I just don't want you guys to spend all this extra money on something thinking you're getting more, but you're not. So just to go over it, laying in this grass and haven't had the gardener come through haven't been to a barber it's just bad luck but bear with me <clears throat> so we're going to start in the back so this is a aeromotive tank it's actually a tanks ink tank and it has an aeromotive billet um billet aluminum sender or was it feed and return and vent cap on the top it's a whole big billet piece i'll show a picture of it um the tanks ink tank comes with the cast it's like a steel cast iron cap that looks similar and there's some aeromotive ones that are still like that, just painted black. So be careful that you're not getting that. And then, um, yeah, these are just gas tank straps from uh, OPG. So in here is a 480 liter per hour, I believe, tank uh, pump. And so this is a aeromotive fuel pump relay kit. It just sends full voltage to your fuel pump. So you're not trying to power your fuel pump off some little mini gauge wire. And then it goes through a grommet there that goes over to the gas tank. So that's the feed line comes around that bend. The Dell clamped runs into a cooler which is actually a transmission oil cooler but i converted it and it, if you see uh pte ptfe tape i had to drill and tap it for dash 10 because it was like a mpt thread or some shit before so and it comes over here i don't know if you can really see it it comes over so it's just into a regular filter Goes into a bend and I have some DEI uh, cool it wrap. It used to run straight across that ledge, but it was too close to the headers for my liking. So, see, there's not that much room. And up to the top. So, it runs along the front there, which it looks like there's no room, but you see, there's, there's all kind of room over there. <laughs> um, Runs up the back of the firewall, I don't know if you can see it, into a splitter here, into the rail, around the front. It's all dash 10 into this aeromotive um, pressure regulator. And then I have a, a Holly pressure sender because it the Holly Terminator comes with the fuel pressure sensor. So once I come turbo or go turbo, I want to be able to set up safeties using my fuel pressure um, but I'm still like I'm a big mechanical guy fan I don't like digital gauges um, plus you can check different things like pressure drop across the rails if you have it like that and I have another one I'm debating whether to put it into the back but probably not so yeah and then that's the return line so it runs under the manifold it's also wrapped in that uh, DEI cool it wrap which is like a ceramic wrap or fiberglass and it just runs down into the fuel rail uh, the frame rail across to the back I'm not calling under there there's nothing to see it's just a straight line that runs all the way to the back so. you know, thank you for the support like and subscribe man I appreciate all the positivity like usual man it keeps me out here working on it so I hope you guys are healthy. I hope you and your family are healthy, man. Remember, we're all stressed and we're all going through crazy things right now. So be nice to each other, man. Holla.